Hello friends, today let us consider different kinds of SOAP in the market. Which SOAP is better and which SOAP has lost uh, carbon footprint, you know, or which is more environmentally friendly for uh, eco-friendly, you know, lifestyle or environmentally conscious lifestyle. Which choice should you make it, you know. Of course, if you want to clean your hands, we have got two options. One is, you know, good old uh, the normal soap that is uh, the solid soap or we have got the liquid soap that is kind of a new invention in the market it has come in the market almost 15 years back so before that it was just the the bar soap available right or if you want to take a bath of course you can use the same bar soap or if you want to be trendy and fashionable you can use something like a, a shower gel you know and that is you can see a lot of advertisement in the TV these days about different kinds of shower gel aroma and all so which one should you go for <clears throat> you know uh, for washing your hands well we have got two options one is that this sort of uh, Dettol this is uh, nothing but a uh, hand wash and if you search out in uh, Amazon this is totally unavailable because of flood in the market post coronavirus because people have a misconception that this sort of liquid uh, soap is the only thing that protects against the coronavirus which is totally untrue so this is this kind of fake propaganda people are unaware of it we we should really think about it to make this you see that how much plastic is required but it's much better because this is only a little bit of the uh, you know the packing material is used but if you're buying use and throw containers then for example this is a shower gel to make this kind of shower gel you see how much plastic is being used and once you use it you just have to throw it out so it's not a good option it's not a viable option at all so if you want to use this kind of uh, a liquid soap I suggest you to get a reusable container this is an IKEA container which I got and this is see-through you can see it exactly from where up to where so the time to buy you can stock it as well but in my opinion liquid soaps are not at all essential there is this sort of solid the bar soaps are perfectly fine this is just a pierce this is a pack of four you see how much waste it generates much much lesser waste and that means much much lesser carbon footprint and these soaps are equally efficient because they produce the lather and that actually disrupts the you know the the structure of the, the virus so why to go for this kind of um, liquid soap that is the, the thing just apply the logic liquid as well as solid so the liquid soap is actually made out of the bar soap it just got a lot of water in it so that is the thing if you observe this you know this is a very trendy fashionable uh, bottle it's far men extreme and if you turn back this is called sport energy boost you know or uh, market uh, commercial you know this is just a propaganda misinformation and disinformation if you turn back you read it carefully it says that the contain 98 percentage aqua what is this aqua means water so instead of writing water they just invented a term aqua to deceive uh, the general public so they actually fall prey for this kind of uh, uh, the, the trap and by exorbitant money uh, for buying this uh, uh, you know this sort of uh, shower gel just consider which one will last longer you can use it in, you know uh, after using this just consider how long will it go and how long will this go so this is far more cheaper and it goes so long and more than that it both does the job perfectly fine only catch is that this has got some adver advertisements say it has got uh, moisturizers in it but moisturizers in case that there are so many soaps also containing the moisturizers so these are just market propaganda so as this one this is also quite expensive one this is from the germany l'oreal men expert and if you look clearly the back side contains 98 percentage aqua same thing 98 percentage water for water you're paying such an exorbitant money do you think it's a it's a good option more than that this produce a lot of plastic so that is not weight out so by the way a swiss study has compared both these soaps the solid soap as well as the liquid soap for the comparative carbon footprint so the study you can see the study right below the description of this video the study clearly says that the solid soap has 25 percentage lower carbon footprint than 
the liquid soap so instead of going with this sort of liquid soap it's always better to stick with the uh, good old solid bar soap because you know it has got lower carbon footprint that means that the environmental uh, you know impact is so much lesser for the solid soap 18th century british philosopher uh, wilhelm of oxam his concept is oxam's razor so that philosophical concept means that uh, you know just don't go for complexities unless it is necessary if simple explanation you know a simple uh, theory can explain the phenomenon pretty well why to go for more complicated theories so always adhere with simple solutions rather than going for a more complicated solutions in your life as well so i suggest you rather than going with this uh, you know the liquid soap or going with the shower gel just concentrate on the solid bar soap thanks for watching